Hi again, everybody. John Boutte, the Buffalo Sports Museum. Nice to see you back. Uh, it's our new episode of In the Vault. And today we are discussing the Buffalo Braves. And more specifically, the cheerleaders of the Buffalo Braves. Uh, the Braves, as just about everybody knows, were here in Buffalo from 1970 to 1978. And had a very passionate following. Uh, we think they were successful. Uh, they had uh, three years in a row in the playoffs. And uh, the team was just littered with uh, NBA Hall of Famers. From McAdoo to Dantley to Moses Malone and Nate Archibald and Coach Ramsey and, and um, Dolph Shays in the Hall of Fame as well. So just a great organization. But let's get back to the cheerleaders. Uh, we're going to show you our cheerleader uniform collection that has been graciously donated to us by former Braves cheerleader and good friend, Lori berger Blumen. Lori is uh, a wife of legendary high school and college basketball official, Benji Blumen. Lori was a cheerleader uh, way back in the 70s, and not only was she a Braves cheerleader, but she was also a Buffalo Jill and also a Philly from the Stallions. She may have been uh, other cheerleaders as well in college. I, I can't remember, but uh, we're going to focus on her Braves cheerleader outfits. This one I've had on display for a while, and this one dates from 1971 through 1973, and it's just a beautiful Beautiful 1970s era cheerleader uniform with the skirt. And the hat didn't come with it. That's just a hat that I had that I put on there. But um, just a beautiful outfit. And we're going to pan down. We're going to show you some of the other examples that uh, she hung on to. And uh, this one here, this one dates from the earliest part of their existence. The Braves uh, from their first year. And we take a look in, we zoom in there, and we see that outfit. That one didn't even have the logo on it. Uh, that would have been worn probably early in the second season based on the orange and black. And uh, this great sweater here, this one dates from 1973-74. And um, there's the team there wearing the sweaters, and there's Lori right there on the sideline laughing and giggling like she always is. Uh, some of these other ones, sweater vest from the mid-1970s. This was worn with uh, white long sleeves. And there's the pom-poms. Uh, and there's Lori's pom-poms that she donated to us. This one you seem to see the most pictures of, this style. This was the one they wore probably from the mid-70s all the way probably through the end of the uh, team's existence in 1978. But that's just a beautiful 1970s one as well. And then over here, this one, this was another uh, probably mid-70s uniform. You just see the girls wearing their sweaters right there. This is a little more traditional, more college type of cheerleader uniform. But we're so thankful that she donated uh, these uniforms to us. Um, great person. She's a, a big fan of ours uh, for the Buffalo Sports Museum and, and a good, good friend. So thanks again, Lori. We hope you enjoyed the segment. And we're going to continue on. Uh, this week we have another um, Back in Time episode coming up. I won't reveal who the guests are, but we got one coming for you soon. And uh, we're going to keep going along with these uh, In the Vault segments. They're very popular. Thanks again for all the messages of support. If you have a request, something you want to see, send it along. We'll make sure we get it on for you. But thanks again. John Boutte of the Buffalo Sports Museum. Hope everybody has a great week. Bye-bye.